Hello everyone, uh, I'm Mohammed. Um, I'm excited to be a demo presenter for the third time in the community call. Um, and about today's topic, enhance your SharePoint search journey with a custom co-pilot in SharePoint site search page. Very long title, but to make it simple, let's start integrating a custom co-pilot in the SharePoint site search page. Oh, so um, before I start a little bit about myself, I'm Mohammed. I work as a Microsoft 365 and SharePoint developer. Uh, also, I'm tech lead at Atia Global Services. Uh, I'm passionate about contributing to the community and crafting solutions for Teams and SharePoint Online. You can connect with me on social platforms that are mentioned in the slide. Check out my GitHub repo samples and my blog website. The agenda for today is about an introduction, then how things are working, then the fun part demo, after that exploring the code, and then sharing project links. Many, uh, many of us uh, utilize the SharePoint search, but based on my observations, it seemed that several SharePoint end users, particularly uh, those who aren't developers, struggle a bit to effectively use uh, SharePoint search to locate the desired content within SharePoint. This is what leads me to think about combining the power of SharePoint search with Copilot in the SharePoint search through a um, SBFX extension that would be a host for a custom Copilot that has a knowledge source like SharePoint site content. And the question now is Have you ever thought about integrating a custom Copilot in the SharePoint site search page? or maybe in any SharePoint page? If no, then in this demo, we will delve into the benefits of and how to integrate a custom co-pilot into the SharePoint site search page. And this will be through the SharePoint framework, SPFX, aiming to enhance your SharePoint search experience. And before I uh, proceed, it is important to note that there are some prerequisites for, uh, for this project. And these prerequisites are in different levels. Uh, first, Copilot Studio. Regarding Copilot uh, Studio, we have to build a custom Copilot in Copilot Studio. And I won't delve into the details of creating a custom Copilot with Copilot Studio, as our awesome colleague Paolo has already provided a comprehensive guide on uh, one of the community calls. Second level is Azure. Two Azure app registrations are necessary. First one, to set up the Microsoft Entra ID authentication for your custom Copilot. The second one, to manage and handle the SSO experience effectively within the SharePoint. Uh, third level is SharePoint. Of course, we should build the SBFX extension component for hosting the Copilot. In SharePoint also, um, there should be a SharePoint list configuration, configuration list for managing our extension variables. I'll show it to you later in the next slides. And the focal point of our talk today is going to be about the SBFX extension component. This is how the Copilot button will look like into your SharePoint search page. 
And once you click on this button, you will have a panel like that for asking the co-pilot questions and getting answers. How things are working. Many of us have developed custom co-pilots using Copilot Studio, yet integrating these custom co-pilots into SharePoint hasn't been widely adopted. It's clear that there is a strong interest in the roadmap feature that we are all waiting for, which is building your custom co-pilot in SharePoint. For those eager to explore similar capabilities sooner, today's sample project can serve as a temporary solution until the official feature is available in SharePoint for all users. But how it works? First, we should build, as I mentioned, we should build the custom co-pilot that will be capable of answering questions um, by direct it to the SharePoint site as a knowledge source. Then generative answers feature will simplify the process uh, of creating a um, conversational interface for end users. Then the end users will interact with SBFX component hosting uh, the SBFX component that will host the custom co-pilot in SharePoint page. Uh, then through the Azure app registrations, we will be able to acquire and exchange the token with co-pilot, allowing the co-pilot to access SharePoint data. Then asking question and getting related answers from co-pilot will leverage the power of generative AI in Copilot Studio. Like I said, the SharePoint configuration list is required also to supply the SPFX component with all necessary configuration. These are the required column in our SharePoint configuration list that um, the component will rely on. Providing the bot URL, which is the token endpoint in Microsoft Copilot Studio. You can find it you, uh, by going to the um, Copilot Studio Designer settings channel, then the mobile app icon. There is a link for that. Then custom scope, the custom scope is the, uh, it will be the scope defined for the custom API in the Copilot app registration that we talked about in the Azure registration uh, prerequisites. Uh, the client ID is the Azure app registration that we should create for handling the SSO. Then the authority, the login URL for your tenant, as you know, my, your tenant dot, uh, on Microsoft.com. Greet uh, will be true false column to um, greet the users at the beginning of the co-pilot conversation. Then bot name and the uh, panel title. Then let's jump into the fun part, which is the demo. Well, I'm running my SPFX extension in the background, so it is up and running, hopefully. And the SPFX extension component will render this button, and by clicking on this button, it will open the panel, and the co-pilot is saying, hey, how can I help you? And I prepared a few questions, but before asking question to our co-pilot, imagine a scenario where you are in the SharePoint site search page 
and you are searching for something and you got some results but if you would like to deep dive with a conversation with co-pilot to ask the co-pilot question and getting answers without opening even these links you can do that so let's ask it a question like that and i will not give up on that and i will ask again and it gives me an answer showing me three links and these links most likely it's uh, it's um, sharepoint pages or sharepoint articles about the uh, sharepoint roadmap and what if we ask another question like that So it gives me the main features of uh, SharePoint roadmap, including the SharePoint framework and some stuff like what are the latest SharePoint roadmap features. Then let's jump into the code. So the code here, Let's start with the uh, XML template for creating the configuration list. It's here in the template folder. It's a simple uh, XML template. You can use PNB PowerShell to uh, create your list. Very simple list with some uh, columns as we explained. And let's say that our SPFX extension have two main parts, components and some few handlers to handle the uh, functionality. There are three main components. Uh, first component is a button that we saw, but behind the button there is another component, which is a panel, and in the panel, there is another component which is the copilot form so these are the main three component but probably you are asking question like how are we rendering this component that will render panel that will render form it's here from the starting point of our spfx extension we are initializing the PNB JS handler in order to get the configuration list from SharePoint. And using few handlers like uh, SharePoint page handler, mutation handler, DOM handler, uh, we are continuing with the functionality. And one of the important things here is the SharePoint page handler that contains a function to render the main component, which is the copilot button. By checking for the main element that has specific ID, and if we have this element, then we return uh, and we uh, return um, we, we return uh, promise.resolve, but if we don't have this uh, component uh, or element with this specific ID, then we are checking for specific node to render our button that will call the copilot. Of course, there is also the MSL wrapper handler to handle the authentication and single sign on. And yeah, these are the main functions in the SPFX component. Then 
these are the links for um, the code sample and my um, blog article about um, my sample. So feel free to review the sample code in GitHub. And I would love to hear from you about any potential updates or enhancements you identify. Thank you. Back to you, Paul. Thank you.